confess our sins, if we confess our sins, if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive our sins. He will forgive our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness and will forgive our sins. He will forgive our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. First John 1 9 If we confess our sins, if we confess our sins, if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive our sins. He will forgive our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness and will forgive our sins. He will forgive our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. First John 1 9 Good morning, good morning, good morning, children, and happy Sunday again. So today, we'll be having a quiz on confession. Remember the last week, we learned about confession. Confession as one of the elements of prayer. So today, we'll be having our quiz as is our usual custom. Get your paper, get your pen. Your answers should be sent to our email at juniorchurch at thispresenthouse.org or on Instagram at myjuniorchurchtph. I'll say that again. Remember to get your pencils, get your papers. Your answers should be sent to juniorchurch at thispresenthouse.org or on Instagram at myjuniorchurchtph. I am Antia Deswa. Let's dive right into our questions for today. Question one. Does confession mean praising God for what he has done for us? Yes or no? Question two. Does God love it when we confess our faults in prayer? Yes or no? Question three. Is confession admitting to God the wrong things we have done? Yes or no? Question four. Is confession the very first thing we do when we pray? Yes or no? Question five. Does God forgive us when we say that we are wrong and confess our sins? Yes or no? Question six. Did the father of the prodigal son give him a new robe on his return home? Yes or no? Question 7. Was there a feast held after the prodigal son came back home? Yes or no? Part 2. So part 2 questions will be true or false questions. Remember that your answers should be sent to juniorchurch at thispresenthouse.org or at my junior church tph remember your answers should be sent to junior church at this present house dot org or at my junior church tph or you can even exchange your papers with your friend at home or your sister or your brother or give it to mommy or daddy to mark it for you so let's dive right into part two question one god loves sin true or false question two confession and adoration mean the same thing when we are praying true or false question three the prodigal son bragged to his brother about how he spent his money true or false question four the prodigal son invested his wealth and made more money true or false Question 5. The prodigal son admitted to his father that he was wrong. True or false? Question 6. The father of the prodigal son was glad he came back home. True or false? Question 7. Confession draws us closer to God. True or false? Now, we go to part three of our quiz. I hope you've enjoyed the quiz so far. 
Remember, your answers should be sent to juniorchurch at thispresenthouse.org via email or on Instagram at myjuniorchurchtph. Multiple choice question one. How many things did the prodigal son receive from his father on his arrival home? A. 6 B. 8 C. 2 D. 1 E. 3 Question 2. The father of the prodigal son asked his servants to give him what? A. A donkey, a house, a bag of gold and sandals. B. The best robe, a ring, and sandals. C. More money. D. Nothing. E. A mansion and a new golden ring. Question 3. Confession in prayer means all these things except A. Admitting we are wrong. B. Telling God we have sinned. C. Asking God to forgive us. D. Praising God for all he has done for us. E. Telling the truth about our wrongdoings. Question 4. When do we confess our sins? When we are A. Sleeping B. Eating C. Playing D. Praying E. Jumping Question 5. How many children did the father of the prodigal son have? A. 1 B. 4 C. 6 D. 2 E. 3 Remember that you can send your answer or you send your answers to our Instagram handle. Or better still, you can exchange your paper with your sibling or give it to your mom or your dad to mark the correct answers. Thank you, children. I hope you enjoyed today's quiz on confession. Till next week again, I wish you a great week filled with so much favor. Remember to pray while you pray. Remember to praise God while praying and make your confessions known to God. He's ready to forgive you of all the wrong things that you have done and ensure that you don't do the wrong things again. Till next week, I remain Auntie Adeswa. Have an amazing week. Bye. Stories of the Bible. The prodigal son. This is Jesus. hey Who is the son of God and the savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. Jesus taught everyone about God's love. All kinds of people would come to hear Jesus speak, including tax collectors and people who made bad choices. This made the Pharisees and Jewish leaders mad. Ah, yuck. They didn't think that Jesus should be around these kind of people. So Jesus told them this story. A man had two sons. The younger son told his father, Um, excuse me? I want my share of your estate now, before you die. Okay. So his father agreed and gave his son his inheritance. A woohoo! A few days later, this younger son packed all his belongings See ya. and moved to a distant land. And there he wasted all his money in wild living. Huh? About the time his money ran out, a great famine swept over the land. Aw, oh, man. And he began to starve. Hey, you! He convinced a local farmer to hire him. Thank you. And the man sent him into his fields to feed the pigs. 
the young man became so hungry that even the food he was feeding the pigs looked good to him. But no one gave him anything. Finally, he said to himself, at home even the servants have food enough to spare, and here I'm dying of hunger. I know. I will go home to my father and apologize and ask him to take me on as a servant. So he returned home to his father. And while he was still a long way off, his father saw him coming. Filled with love and compassion, he ran to his son. Sir! His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against both heaven and you, and I am no longer worthy of being called your son. But his father said to the servants, Quick, bring the finest robe in the house and put it on him. Get a ring for his finger and sandals for his feet, and kill the calf we have been fattening. We must celebrate with a feast, for this son of mine was dead and now has returned to life. He was lost, but now he is found. So the party began. Ah, ah, yeah! Meanwhile, the older son was in the fields working. When he returned home, he heard music and dancing in the house. Huh? Hey, you! And he asked one of the servants what was going on. Your brother is back, he was told, and your father has killed the fattened calf. We are celebrating because of his safe return. Woohoo! All right! Party time! All right! Yahoo! The older brother was angry and wouldn't go in. His father came out and begged him. Ah, oh, man! But he replied, All these years I've slaved for you and never once refused to do a single thing you told me to. And in all that time, you never gave me even one young goat for a feast with my friends. Yet when this son of yours comes back after wasting your money, you celebrate by giving him a great feast. His father said to him, Look, dear son, you have always stayed by me, and everything I have is yours. We had to celebrate this happy day, for your brother was dead and has come back to life. He was lost, but now he is found.